okay guys this is the animation that i am going to create today it can be termed as an animation or it can be termed as a character animation used in explainer video okay let us learn it hi friends um, today i am going to create a explainer video kind of character uh, with this static image um, so just going to the pixabay.com pixabay.com after going there i'm going to search for some images so you can see this one just pick it and you can download the AI file so once you are downloading it um, maybe i'm saving it inside the documents I'm going to edit the image in Inkscape. So just dragging it and dropping it here. Okay, now the image, the A file is opened in the Inkscape. So this is the software I'm using. Inkscape. It's a free software. Anyone can download and use it. Uh, moreover, I see that it can even open the AI files or Adobe Illustrator files. So it's a good one. So I'm resizing it to smaller. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup it. Yeah, it has been ungrouped. Okay, what I'm going to do is I plan to do two part of animations. I want to move the thumbs up symbol like this, I mean this hand, uh, this will go up and down so it, it will be something like showing the thumbs up to the user and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake the head, I'm going to tilt the head, the left and right. So these type of these two animations I'm going to do with it. So let's see uh, how I'm going to do that. Okay, first before everything we need to separate the parts here okay yeah that's good so I'm going to group it I have selected it and I'm group it group it and another thing is that I need to select all these parts so let's see what some parts are not available like Okay, like these parts so I just want to ungroup it again ungroup so let me see it is ungrouping it now ungroup yeah it's fine it's ungrouped now so let me see whether I can pick the area yeah it's good now I want to pick the collar the shirt collars so I need to select this one select this one too that is also important That's good. So I have selected the head part. I need to group it again. I need to group it. Okay. So these two parts. Now we are just keeping away these things, and I am going to make the other all other things which are not going to be animated. So I'm just grouping it. I'm going to copy this hand, paste it here in the PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to copy the head paste it the powerpoint i'm going to copy other parts paste again in the part so we got all the things now but good thing is that each and everything is separated okay if you notice close to the image you can see the head is above everything so i think we don't need to do that because the head need to go back so we need to set it back send to back okay good 
so now the head can be positioned like this a little like this, a closer to it's not a problem just this is all your taste only and just poison it where you feel opt okay I'm putting the hand here so now everything is ready I'm just poisoning it okay now let's animate it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the hand symbol select the hand symbol go to the animation and then here I need to do something like with this one to the lines so the hand animates to a large part so what I can do is it doesn't need to go this much far so maybe I can slightly I can adjust it so the height is reduced and let's see what really happens now so let's go to the animation animation pane Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to auto reverse it, which means actually it will reverse it, reverse the animation. So it goes down, then it goes up. And the timing should be, I should make something like repeat until the next slide, end of the slide. So pressing OK. So now you can see it animates nicely. If you are not happy with the timing, okay, let me show in F5. It's good but the problem is that it is somewhat very slow so if you want to increase the speed you can go to the timing and make it one second so the animation will be faster okay guys suppose if you're happy with this part of animation then you can stop it here suppose if you think the animation is a little um, it moves very high then you can still change the position here so it does not animate too much height. I mean it does not take a lot of space to move the hands. Pressing the F5 again. See, so this is the one. So it is all your taste and uh, it's about what you think about making the hand move. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tilt the head so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, spin animation but the problem is that the head will rotate like this the biggest thing and the very good thing in PowerPoint is that actually you can set something like you can give you can provide custom value for the animation I'm going to give something like two or three or maybe like you can give three three degrees so then auto reverse so what happens now Okay, oh, this also need to be uh, repeated until the end of the slide. I'm pressing the F key. But the problem is that if you look at it keenly, uh, the thing is that start with previous, and this one has to be start with previous. F5. You can see the head animates, but the problem is the center part of the animation is now the nose nose has been taken as the center part but it doesn't look that much good but if you're really happy with it then it's fine but if you're not happy with it you can still do something more than this maybe like you need to remove the animation and select it I'm going to make a dummy part a dummy part so I'm going to animate it. I mean, I mean, I'm going to insert a box here. Actually, I'm going to insert a box here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give the shape to no fill, no play. So it's a dummy part. So then I'm selecting this one and this head. I'm going to group it. Remember, I'm going to group it. Now, what I'm going to do is the same kind of animation I'm going to go into animate and going to spin it okay now we can see the part and do this like this and I'm going to do the same animation but the values will be the custom one it's going to be two degrees or three degrees whatever you suggest but to press the enter key and then you need to better 
you can say something is smooth start smooth and you can or some values maybe like 0.48 or 0.44 second anything it could be anything the way you feel like that but i feel something 0.4 level is good here so you have to give the auto reverse too see here it looks somewhat better than the previous animation if i'm pressing the fi key see what really happens the collar and the head moves in a better way actually it does not repeat i think so i need to do the repeat so the timing yeah it is not repeating so at the end of the slide the two seconds maybe let's make one second so you can see it better okay here again i need to start with previous so pressing the f5 okay that looks great now so you can see it is somewhat better than the previous one so after adding the dummy point or dummy the box dummy box you can make the animation in a better way i hope you like it guys actually um and one thing is that actually i uh, what i what i was thinking i couldn't resize it for example if it is bigger i want to resize i couldn't resize them so suppose what i need to do is if i want to resize it say for example i need to select everything and i need to resize it like this uh, but everything will be separated again so what i need to do is the animations will not be gone but you can resize this resize it actually so again you can set the hand and set everything there but the good thing is that we have resized it but guys if you have any other ideas to resize uh, you can please comment so i will learn about that too so just leaving it here okay pressing the fi key and the animation is smaller now so you can order all the text here so kind of explainer so it's a kind of explainer video and you can order the text here okay guys i hope you like it if you really like it please like share and comment and more than everything if you really if you could really subscribe the channel it would be very helpful for me thank you guys